cancer, what did I know about it? I like to think that there's a reason that I got sick. It's really personal now. My cancer was spreading so fast, chemo wasn't working. You're putting this new cancer drug into a human. The question is, is it gonna work? We need a different kind of fuel. We then take that fuel and we put it into the fuel cell and out comes electricity. We would still make more energy than we could ever dream of. On this ultimate edition of Say Yes to the Dress, we're granting wedding wishes to two special brides. An army mechanic with an unexpected honeymoon in the Middle East. We found out recently that we're both getting deployed to Iraq. And a hurricane survivor with barely enough left for a wedding, let alone a dress. She decided that she would sacrifice her wedding budget to help her family. No matter the drama. She hates that. This is stupid. This is insane. No matter the opinions. You don't like it? You do? You don't? Our team faces the toughest of tests. We got a time frame, and it's now, now, now. To make the couple's dreams come true. Coming up next, Colonial House. The realities of 1628 are setting in. Financially. The colonists considered this more precious than silver. Really? Physically. That's not entrails, that's the food. We could die here. Emotionally. You're a woman. I'm a woman. We are at the bottom of the ladder, and that's the way it is. Until a 21st century tragedy intrudes. Her cries and her screams are going to resonate in my head for a long time. Stay tuned for Harsh Reality on Colonial House. On the rise and fall of Jim Crow, during World War II, African-American soldiers experience a new acceptance overseas. They were determined when we got back home to be treated fairly. But back at home, little has changed. I guess we'll have to put them all back in their place. The fight against legal segregation gains new ground. Battles great and small are won in terror and triumph. We need to understand how neurons are producing decisions. To have to make that choice isn't fair. The same brain area is active as is active when you smell a disgusting odor. Do you feel like you're missing part of your brain? Not really, but I know I am. What's a robot? Most people will think about a robot as some sort of a machine. Engineers have a lot to learn from this little fruit fly. Science is like falling in love. If we don't play God, who will? This is potentially the most important organized scientific effort that the human species has ever mounted. I came off of that ramp in a mad dash looking, looking. It's a little bit like a detective story. Once that virus got into humans, there was nothing that could stop it. That legend just doesn't stand up against reality. We're at the pioneer stage, and that's where I like to be. What they wanted to do was to make a statement that they're part of the 21st century. Part of this is a science, part of this is an art form, and part of this is just disciplined execution of a plan. We're really in the shoes of our ancestors, but these shoes suck. It that's sucks it. and it's raining, OK? We're living in 1628. This ain't no pleasure cruise. I am gay. Big fat mama's having babies. I'm a dad. <laughs> There's no food. We could die here. No! Stop it! Just stop it! On the next manor house, upstairs, if people treat you as my lady, you grow into the position. But downstairs... No, actually, your high and mightiness, I feel like shit, and it's mainly because of you. Romance blooms. She's a real cracking beard. And if they get caught... They'd be sacked and I'd get sent off with no reference and have to become a prostitute. <laughs> oh. On Manor House. Still curious? Get more at 13.org. Uncut interviews, web-exclusive video, and more curious stories. We're curious at 13.org.